Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Beach here, and I'm coming to you from the Audubon Aquarium of the Americas. We're out here because they are doing a big preview event for all of the improvements and additions they've made to the aquarium. Plus, they now have the insectarium here. Yeah, they tore down the old IMAX theater that was attached to it, and they've built this whole new section that houses the new insectarium. And so this is the new entrance to both the aquarium and the insectarium. It is on this side of the building now. This is where the IMAX theater used to be. They have changed it all up completely. All right, it's just about time to go inside and see everything that is new. So this is the new main lobby to the aquarium and the insectarium. The new front desk where you would buy your tickets or passes. This doesn't actually open to the public for a few more days. They're still working on a few things tightening up some stuff and finishing up some things, but this is the new gift shop. It's in a different location than it used to be. Check out these little guys, little baby turtles. We've got the old hammerhead shark stuffed animal. Some scary looking teeth. They all have some scary looking teeth. Oh, this little penguin has been separated from his family. Here you go, buddy. Back where you belong. All right, they've led us upstairs. It's time to go see all the new stuff. What's that? Are you heading in? Yep. You head over to the left side for the aquarium entrance, and you head over to the right side for the insectarium entrance, and this will be right over there, as well as you can take some photos right around the Thank you. Enjoy, sir. All right, so it looks like you enter both places from up here. But first, I think we have a little photo op. All right, time to make our way inside the insectarium and see what this is all about. Now, we've gone to the previous version of the insectarium, which was in a different location. This is cool. They've got this beautiful screen here that shows all these monarch butterflies. This new insectarium has about 55 live animal exhibits. Bug appetite is up and running, so you can have some edible insects if you want. Well, roaches are easy to come by. And, and even though this roach is not from this part of the world, it is a Madagascar species. Madagascar kissing cockroach is its full name. Uh, well, his full name might be, you know, Harvey Jones Smith. I don't know. Uh, I say he. This is a, this is a female. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, the point is that Exotic insects are regulated by the Department of Agriculture because they don't want to plant pests to get out and start, you know, ravaging rice or soybean or sugarcane or something like that. But uh, the USDA, the Department of Agriculture, has decided that there are a lot of roaches that are now not regulated. So you can just go to a pet store and buy one and there you go. Female Madagascar hissing cockroaches. If you look at the prothorax, the first part of their thorax, it's very smooth. It doesn't have any noticeable humps or bumps on it. So I actually have a quartet of females right here, whereas a male hissing roach has these two notable humps on the top of his thorax. And in nature, they are territorial, and the males will push on each other with their thoraxes in much the same way that a pair of rams or, or deer will, will bat horns or antlers together for, uh, for control of a territory. And you're welcome to see what this roach feels like. Oh, I can touch it? Yeah. Giant cave cockroach. Could you imagine walking around your house at night and accidentally stepping on one of these things? Ooh. The leaf cutter ant. They've got this entire colony of ants in here. You can see them all crawling on this stick into their home, carrying the pieces of leaves that they've cut. So this is the super worm. This case looks like something you would see on like Fear Factor or something. I would not want to put my hands inside of this and let those crawl all over me. The layout here is really nice. It has a good flow to where you're going to see everything. Here's the Malaysian giant weevil. Look at this thing, this thing is creepy looking. This little setup here looks like a giant praying mantis with a monitor for a face talking about a mantis. 
Is it very comfortable? <laughs> the Hercules Beetle. I don't know, this guy looks like he's in rough shape. What is it? What does it smell like? This smells like vinegar, this smells like flowers. It's feed to escape from predators. So this right here is an ox beetle. You can touch it if you want. You're just gonna take one finger and pet him gently on his back like that. Oh. Good job, good gentle touch. What does he feel like? Feels like an eggshell. <laughs> Feels like an eggshell. So why do eggshells exist to begin with? To protect the inside. To protect the inside. All right. So that's the same purpose with these guys' hard outer exoskeleton, so they can protect their insides. So this is a patent leather beetle. They eat mostly rotten wood. And again, you can touch it just real gentle. What is it called? Patent leather beetle. Patent leather beetle? Which, can you guess how it got its name? No, it feels like leather. <laughs> I just got a roasted cricket right on top. We don't have to worry about any legs or anything. We always, we always de-leg all our crickets before we cook them. Mostly, mostly because you know it's just that eye thing, it's the legs, and kind of get them out. But we also can use the legs. Uh, we can uh, dry them out and roast them, and use them as cricket flour, which is actually a gluten-free flour. Sometimes we'll make some of the gluten-free chocolate. These are not gluten-free right now. Now you're gonna stay up. You made a bug today. <laughs> you want some cereal? Okay, I'll just try all of these. Ah! You're doing it for real? Yeah. Nice. I just hate the French part. What's weird about the wax worms is they're all air fried and it makes them, gives them like a Cheeto like consistency so they're like air. And then it's just whatever seasoning you put on. <laughs> <laughs> you taste the bug? Gotcha. I'm just trying not to think about just, it. Just, no. just, you know, nice. Okay, that one was good. You really don't. It's just like a crunch. Step right up. Come eat some bugs today. They're quite tasty. It's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. So we've got this entire honeycomb set up with a little tube that goes outside the window the trees down below so the bees can fly in and out, gather their pollen to bring back to their nest to create honey, make the honey. This little guy is making his way back in. This place definitely has a lot of roaches. I know it's an insectarium, but good lord. That's cool. All right, we've made it to the aquarium side of the building, going down to the bayou. These are South American or compass sea nettles. So they've been growing up for a little while. If you can believe it, some of these are only about four months old and other ones are about a year old. So they are enjoying their new exhibit. They've been growing up quite a bit. If you want to know what they look like as tiny ones, we have some by our plastic bag exhibit. So you can kind of see how big they've gotten since, because they came in real small. So this is one of the revamped areas. They've kind of changed it around a little bit from what it used to be. It used to feature more about the, the Mississippi River. 
They still have the white alligator on display here. They've got one here and one at the Audubon Zoo, I believe. This little turtle in here looks like he is really, really wanting to get out. He is trying to swim for his freedom. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this little exhibit was not here before the revamp. And you're not going to find just fish at the aquarium. Got a couple of ducks hanging out here as well. This owl looks like he is napping away. And the giant shark teeth are still here. I've got plenty of pictures taken in the mouth of this thing. Also my kids. This is a touch pool. I believe you can actually touch the rays that are swimming around in the water here if you choose to. shark exhibit that was here has been slightly modified I don't think they have as many sharks as they once did but look at this guy this this shark is swimming around he looks like he is the king of the water he's got his fin up and everything just like Jaws come back around again to get a better shot of him I think the lights just making him kind of red that's cool big dude This has always been my favorite exhibit at the aquarium, the penguins. These guys are always fun to watch, but they don't seem like they're very active. They're just kind of relaxing, hanging out and enjoying the day. The Amazon rainforest, this has always been here. I think they've kind of changed it up a little bit, but I know there's a tree house in there and it looks like the tree house is still there. But from what I understand, you cannot go up in the tree house anymore. Yeah, I spoke with one of the employees and she said they've put a lot more foliage around uh, which is now blocking a lot of the walkways and everything for the treehouse. That is a big, big, very big catfish. I don't know, I think this might be my favorite area in the entire aquarium. Years ago, they brought in all of this Mayan stuff into the aquarium, and they've kept a lot of it, and it seems like they've added to it some with this new improvement to the aquarium. I like it. All right, well, that's gonna do it for me from the Audubon Aquarium of the Americas and the Insectarium. The place was awesome, love the improvements, love the new Insectarium, the new location for it. 
it's really cool had a good time thanks for watching hope you enjoyed a little land yap from this who dad go pass a good time